So, this is a quick video about how to create a website using Google Sites as part of the computer science class. So the easiest way to start is to go up to the menu bar and say sites.new. This is true of any Google product um, or most of them that allow you to copy create documents. If you put docs.new, it automatically opens to a new Word document or a, a doc. If you put slides.new, same. Sheets.new, same. And that's true of sites. It lets you make a new Google website without going to the main page and clicking a bunch of things. So when it opens, you will have the website editor. Website editor is really easy to use. It's all drag and drop. In this class, you're going to make a website. You can literally make it about anything. In the past, some people in this class have made it about bubble tea or skiing or straight talk politics, University of Ohio sports, hockey, Fortnite, dad jokes, dogs and cats. Someone even started working on a multi-chapter story or novel where they were going to put in illustrations. So, any of these things are possible. It's really up to you. I am going to make it about something I like, which is woodworking and building things. And so I'm going to call it building things. So this is the editor. You could change. One of the things you can't really change is font, but you have a few different options here that change the size of the writing. For a title, you want it nice and big, so we'll do that. And you can add the site name. They can be the same, they can be different, but that now appears here. That's the site title. And I wanted to put in an image. I have the image. I took this picture of a workbench covered with tools a few years ago, and it's on my computer. So I'm going to upload it. Now it says adjust for readability. Those stars do their magic, and what that means is it might dim the picture or brighten the picture or dim the text so it's easier to read. You can then change the image. You could also, if you don't have your own, you can go to select and search and do a Google search for the image. You could also reset it, get rid of it, or change the header type. Right now we're using banner, but you can have it cover the whole page and have it be a really big cover photo or go all the way down to text only. I'm going to go with the default. And now this space down below is what you can put on your main page. This is the home page. It's the landing page where someone will come, the first place they'll see when they come to your website. Over here are all your tools of things you can add to the website. The insert menu, the pages menu, which show you all the pages you've made. So far we only have a home page. If you go down here, it lets you add new pages and themes page. You can use any of these themes. I think impression makes a good impression. So we'll go to insert and the first thing I want to do is give a little layout to the page. So I'm going to call this first section videos I like. So these are all videos made by different YouTube builders and makers. And then I'm going to link this to another page. So the beauty of web pages is you don't put everything on one page. Your site is made up of many different pages. They just start here. So what I'm going to do now is make this page so that someone could click and go over to this videos page. So if I go over here and go up to pages, I can go down and make a new page. I'm going to call this videos. Now it makes that same background, same style, but we have a videos page. And I want to put in here some 
YouTube videos. One of my favorites are by this guy called The Essential Craftsman. I really like this one. Uh, problem solving tools, tape measure, forging two Bowie knives using string like a pro. I really like this one, how to be more productive. It kind of shows how he built a ramp at his mother's house and his whole process of building. So. You could do that, but I kind of want to write something here as well. This has the controls, allow full screen. That's how to put in a video. And you can then move it around if you want it centered. You can add a text box. We go up here, right underneath. Okay, that's one way to do it. And then let's say I want to make a link. So a video by the Essential Craftsman, but I want someone to be able to click this and they'll go over to his channel. So in order to do that, I need to get that link first. YouTube. Let's find his channel. So that's his channel. I happen to already be subscribed to it. And then this is the link. So I'll hit Control or Command C. Then I'll go back here. And I want this to become a live link. So I'll highlight it. And then hit the link button. And then Control or Command V to paste it in. So now that becomes a link to his channel. All right? Up here, it's giving you the different pages you make, so you can quickly click between them. Now, I want to put a picture here. And I kind of like this logo as a picture. So what I'm going to do is make a, a little screenshot here. So I am going to use Shift-Command-4. I'm on a Mac. You can also do shift control and then screen switching button, which is the button above the six on a Chromebook. And I want to grab this keep up the good work thing. That's a pretty cool graphic. Now I'm going to go here and I want to upload. It's actually on my desktop because I just put it there by screenshotting it. Okay, and it's not really grabbing everything that I wanted in there. Keep up the good work. So you can resize it. And I also want this videos I like and this to go to my new page. So if someone clicks on this, I want them to link over to the new page. So I don't have to put in the actual link, which is here. I can also choose pages from my own site like this. So if I click those words, how about if I click the picture? Yes, I'll do the same thing. You want to make it so it's easy for people to navigate your site. So that's how to grab images and put them in places and how to do videos and links. Down below, you can also add these things. Some of these I don't really use very often, some I do. Sometimes I'll put a button in there or dividing line. The button is just basically a big square that will link you to somewhere in, if you don't want to have text. Pages, themes. Okay. If you want to see what your site will look like, you hit this. And that's what it would look like for someone looking at your site on a laptop. You can also see what it would look like on a tablet or on a phone and scroll through just like you would. This is the menu. These are the things that appear at the top of the screen. You can exile this when you're done. 
If you want to share this with someone and make this project with another person, you can, just like in a Google Doc. You invite them, and then you can hit Done. If this pencil is showing, they can be a fellow editor on the site, and you can work as a group. These are some different settings. It's a relatively new feature. And when you're ready for this to go live, you can hit Publish. You'll notice until you hit Publish, this little link symbol is grayed out because it's not published yet. If I publish this site, yes, I'm OK with this. Anyone at Ethical Culture can view my site. I will publish it. And then if I go here and I copy this link, anyone who I send that link to will be able to see my website provided they're part of ethical culture. But wait, what if I want the whole world to see my website or family members? Well, you have to change the publish settings. And so instead of, that's the name, Here, under the sharing menu, you can change who can see it. Anyone can find and view the published version. People at Ethical Culture can find and view, or only specific people. I want everyone to see it. Save that, and done. Now, if you give the published site to someone, they will then be able to see your site too. So this is the published site. That's a good start. I encourage you to build at least three pages and include a bunch of graphics, videos, links, and try putting in other things that make your website look cool. Then publish it and share the link. I will send you a separate document where you can put your name and the link to your website so other people can look at it and see how you did and see what you did. All right, that's it for now. Thanks.